Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I am at the Stratosphere. 108th floor. Wow. Unbelievable. But we have a real estate expert who's going to explain the National Association of Realtors Settlement. And uh, please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And you want to email me? Hello at I Allegedly. The one and only Drayton May, real estate wholesaler. How are you, brother? Good, man. How you doing? I'm good. Drayton lives out here in Vegas, and Drayton has successfully been responsible for over 2,000 real estate transactions. And Drayton does not believe, and has talked about this ad nauseum, where you do not need a real estate agent. Okay? And uh, let's talk about the NAR settlement first. National Association of Realtors. Let's talk about that first. Okay. Drayton, this is no big deal. They're going to continue to make commissions. They're going to have you walk into an open house and have to sign paperwork so that you can see the house. First of all, they've just given you a, ba a, a bunch of window dressing. They haven't given you any substance. There's no actual real substance in what they're proposing because this is, the, this is what sellers need to know. They're still coming after your money. Yeah. They're still coming after your money. They're, they may not say 6% out loud anymore, but they're still coming after your money just like before. They want sellers to continue to pay a buyer's agent. They want it, the whole thing to continue. And nothing they have proposed, nothing they have said is going to change. If you notice, tell me what they've said about changing, colluding, and steering. How is that going to be changed with their, with their changes? Okay, colluding is that they committed a crime. Steering is when the agents went and pushed people to houses with higher real estate commissions. Yeah, you have to remember, a jury said that they found them liable, liable for conspiracy and colluding. Those are crimes. <laughs> and now the D Department of Justice has reopened their case against NAR. Well, and this they is great news, Drayton. Right? They're not going to, they're not gonna uh, let this agreement go through. They're going to just settle it and go back to the old way. That's what people are writing me. They're writing you saying that? But yeah. Well, well, the agents are. This doing is that. what the Department of Justice has made very clear. They do not want an offer. They do not want an offer from the from the seller, because that is where all the crime starts. It starts with forcing the the seller to make an offer on his house before anything happens. You got to put out this bag of money. How does it make sense to anybody? to say, okay, I'm gonna sell your house. I'm gonna sell your house, Dan. Just give me a bag of money and I'm gonna put it at the front door. Because that is exactly That's what, what they're, they're doing, doing right now. Exactly what they're doing. So uh -huh. it's a complete scam, the whole thing. And you can't, you can't convince me otherwise because a, a listing agent is doing, what is a listing agent doing? Well, I'm listing the house. So I'm paying you 3% on a $700,000 house. I'm paying you $21,000. <laughs> Just to list my house? That's a lot of money. Now, now wait a minute. Don't don't real estate agents say, well, we have a fiduciary responsibility. Oh, okay. You hear that all the time, right? All the time. If you have a fiduciary responsibility, real estate agents out there, you have a fiduciary responsibility to tell your clients they can do it themselves for two ninety nine. Now, for two hundred ninety nine bucks. You had a woman reach out to you. Yep. This week, uh, uh, about ten days ago. Ten days ago. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Tell the story. Ten days ago, she reached out to me, said, Drayton, I want to sell my house. The real estate agent says I should list it for $1.1 I think I think it's worth a little more than that. I, I want to see what you think. Can you help me? I said, absolutely. So I went ahead, got her information, got the address, took a look at the address, took a look at comparables, and she was 100% right. Her house was worth more, $100,000 more. Wow. So we listed it for just a dollar under $1.2 uh, she took professional pictures for $160, put the best three pictures first on MLS for $299. The house sold in four days, full price, cash. Four days. Wow. Four days. Wow. Four days. So, and, and, and the buyer, the buyer uh, was direct through an assistant. And so there was no, no broker in, involved, no broker agent. There was no selling agent involved. She sold her house for 160 plus the 299. That's what it cost her. Wow, 160 plus 299. Yeah. Did she hire a lawyer? Uh, she did hire a lawyer. The lawyer cost her 800 bucks. Okay, and the lawyer did the contract. The lawyer did the contract. So. And yeah. the disclosures. The lawyer sat down with her, did the disclosure form, and uh, did that with her. Wow. So where is this headed right now? 
where is this headed? With real estate being completely upside down, where is the, let's talk about just residential real estate. Where is it going right now? Well, it really depends on what area you're talking about. There's several areas I'm really, really concerned with. Uh, obviously, Florida is one of the areas I'm really concerned with. Hundreds Texas, and hundreds of houses for sale. Not only that, thousands of condos just... Uh, oh my God, we talked, at, I talked about worthless. that this week. The condos right now are almost worthless. Who's going to who's gonna buy a, a, a million and a half dollar condo, pay a, a $10,000, $12,000 you know, uh, payment, then you got to pay a three thousand dollar HOA. Then you got to insure it. Then you got to pay the taxes. Who is signing up for this? Who knows? Yeah. So you got Florida's an issue. Texas is an issue. San Antonio inventory is soaring. Houston prices are falling. Tennessee. Look at Memphis. Look at Memphis right now. It's got eight months of inventory and climbing. Eight so Tennessee is a problem. North Carolina is a problem. So, you know, is it everywhere? No, there's, there's areas in New Jersey that are still hot by New York City. There's still some hot areas around the country. I don't want to say there isn't, but there are some areas of great, great concern. Okay. The National Association of Realtors Settlement. One thing that was sent to you and I, that we're like, we gotta verify this. They want, and I didn't know if it was an April Fool's joke or not, they want this thing to be that the, the agents get an hourly wage. Would that be insane if they did that? Right. Well, well for, first, first of all, no agent, you know, maybe you got, maybe on your show, you can find an, a real estate agent that's, that's willing to write down what they do. Because I've been asking for two years for a real estate agent to write down what you do. And now you're not allowed to write down a phone call and you're not a, allowed to write down traveling to the house. That doesn't count. That's not work. <coughs> Traveling to the house and making a phone call is not work. Right. But and other than that, please, any real estate out, agent out there, write down what you do. I've been waiting for two years. I Maybe somebody in your the audience. I door for the inspector. I talked to the title company. I talked to the... the um, the, uh, well, well, Dan, that's another thing they tell you, right? Buyer's agents go, well, you know, I, I, I need to represent the client. Do you know how many people are representing the client or taking care of the client when, when someone's buying a house? First of all, the seller's giving them full disclosure by law. That's number one. Number two, the loan officer, the appraiser, the inspectors, everybody's looking out for the buyer. So what do you need a buyer's agent for? What right. do you need a salesman tagging along for you? For what? Everybody's already looking out for you. So what is the buyer's agent going to do? What do you think they're going to do for you? Nothing. Tall is all. Title, appraiser, lawyer, lender. Wow. You've said this before, but this is going to get more interesting by the weeks right now oh, yeah. because it's getting busier right now with the amount of inventory. It's getting busier because the real estate, you know, uh, the interest rates are still high and people are like, no, 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 Dan, they're going to come down. Wait, wait, Dan, wait till the 4th of July. 4th of July is the date. Because after the 4th of July, summer's over. It's back to school. Yeah. So let's enjoy everything right now. From a real estate standpoint, you're having your candy right now. But starting July 4th, the candy's gone. And we'll see what July, August, September look like. Oh, wow. Get ready for pain. Wow, wow, wow. So one thing you did, you set up a website. Look at this venue, guys. This is absolutely amazing. This is the stratosphere during the day. Imagine how crazy this would be at night. Clayton and I are going to have an event here, and it's just going to be crazy. This thing rotates one mile an hour, and it's just absolutely amazing. So let me know what you think about this place. So the venue's fantastic. We're going to have an event here, which is going to be very cool in June. But think about this, guys. Drayton set up a site to represent a buyer, okay? Tell them more well, about well, basically, it. When, when someone is going to sell their house, you've heard of NAR. We've been talking about NAR. This is basically LAR, Listing Agent Review, because real estate agents are telling you all the time, well, you have to have representation. Well, where is, where is a, a seller's represent, representation when they're going to sit there at a table for a listing agent talking to them about 6% of their home's value? Where At Listing Agent Review, we take a look at the listing agent agreement for you. And it's, it, there's no cost, it's free. And we just give you our opinion, our take on it, and what, we, because look at, 
who is who is offering you any any advice or anything other than the real estate agent trying to convince you to put your house up for sale for six percent of the home's value? You sold a house in four days. Four days. Think about that. Six times four days. And that's another six thing. Six percent that, times four. I don't days. mean to cut you off, but that's no. another thing that no one ever addresses. Please tell me why I'm paying six percent on a, a home sale if the house sells in three days. Yeah. Why? Why am I paying 6% of my house's value if the house sells in three days? Because of their expertise, Straighten. But oh. you just proved that with the two people that came, you know, the people that came forward, the buyers, the buyers didn't have an agent either. Oh, okay. No, no, so. there was, there was no buyer's agent and, and it was done. It was done so fast, so quick because there wasn't anybody in between that whole malarkey of, oh, you can't. Have you ever heard something so silly as, well, buyer and seller can't talk to each other? Oh my gosh, that can't happen. No, it can't happen because there's two people in between the transaction right. trying to make a commission. Wow. That's exactly why. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I love this, guys. Okay? <laughs> Buyer's agent review. But there's going to be a lot more coming out about this. In the coming Listing weeks. agent review. Listing, Lar. Lar. Bar, Lar. Sorry. Listing agent review. La, la, la. <laughs> Dan's a little slow today. Okay. Please don't forget to the like button. Subscribe to the channel. You want to email me and I will get them over to Drayton. Hello at iallegedly.com. Onward and upward, guys. I cannot wait to talk more about this. But let me know. If you're an agent, let me know if you think that this is going to be A-OK -okay and everything's great. Because I think it's anything but that. Let me know what you think. Okay? I agree. Thanks, guys.